What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of WTF. is going on, y'all? WTF is happening here um, right now. Takashi 6 9 <sighs> Takashi 6 9 is a walking... What the fuck is going on, y'all? Like, from his whole life. From his whole... He came out to rapping. I don't know who thought he was a real rapper, seriously, when he first started coming out. He literally came out dressing like, like a gay Pennywise. You know, like, he, he came off, off top really, 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 really on one. Um, but we accepted him. You know what I'm saying? He got a whole whole following, a whole following of people that fuck with him. And he threw out snitching. Threw out snitching. He didn't snitch so cold. He snitched and went to jail. Most people, when they snitch, they don't do no time. Like, they, they scot-free. Nobody know about it. Somebody got to go, you know what I'm saying? Somebody go, got to go find it. Go, got to go do something. Nah, he snitched out in the open, in the public. And and still got a following for it. This is a cold, cold player right here. I don't, I don't know what to, like, he, he got to go in the Hall of Fame or something like that. Like, he in the Hall of Fame of snitching. Like, he, he like the, the, the Weird Al Yankovic of snitching. He like the, the RuPaul of snitching. Um, dude like the, the, the My Little Pony of snitching and, and life. Um, he walks around looking like um, Rainbow Sparkle every day and have, and got gangster albums, yo. Talking about killing, talking about stealing, talking about dope dealing, all that. Running around with the police um, as he should, as he should. Um, anyway, in the news, Takashi 6 9 they said has bought his twins girlfriends Birkin bags. Let me say that one more time. His twin girlfriend. <sighs> Snitching's come a long way, fam. Snitching and clowning is going a long way. There's a lot of people out there right now. Takashi 69, Charleston White. There's, there's some people coming out there for with, with like big snitching and clowning. It's getting them getting them celebrity. It's like a it's like a celebrity. They like they like snitcher lights. They like snitcher lights out there. Um, and he got twin bitches. Twin bitches. Um, that still ain't pimping, though. He still ain't, you know, he still ain't, he ain't a player with it. But he got twin bitches that, you know, and he buying them Birkin bags each. Birkin bags, is, that's, a, that's like a little small Honda Civic, fam. Y'all be hearing the Birkin bags like Chris Brown and all these niggas talking about buying their bitches Birkin bags. If you don't have Birkin bag money on you, fam, that's like even dope dealers. You might get a little Birkin bag when they be talking about they getting their bitch like oh, I, I drop I got my bitch a little Gucci bag. I got a little Louis bag. They getting their a little small bag with a big big chain around it. It got a big handle. They got a big loop. They be walking around flossing. They just be walking around, new hair, new eyelashes, with a big loop, big loop, and a little purse, a little purse. Purse is like a cell phone on them, but they, you know what I'm saying, they rocking it. Dope man bought that, dope money bought that. Takashi bought Birkin bags, yo, big Birkin bags um, for his twin bitches, but he didn't stop there. He bought Birkin bags for 20 of their homegirls. 20. That's 10 friends for each twin. 20 bags. That's some cold snitching right there. You know how cold you got to snitch to where not only you got to buy your bitch a bag, you got to buy her homegirl some bag. Because if you snitching, that means everybody around you snitching. You can't do shit for the rest of your life, fam. You really can't. And you got to wear that goofy ass hair. You got to wear your rainbow hair. You got to wear your My Little Pony hair. Because if you don't wear that, they don't know that you Takashi 6 9 If you just walk around and you just have your hair as it is, you might look like a wrestler. You might look like a wrestler. But having your hair the way it is and having, having all that, you know, having like five different... Um, rabbit foot on outside and, and doing it the way you do it. Um, yeah, that's probably going to get you. Fame is called. And you can probably get you some else. But you know for snitching. So you got to think about it. Fellas, 
What you known for? What you put out there? And it go both ways. It go for females and dudes, yo. What you put out there, that's what attracts, fam. We magnets in life, fam. So what you put out there, that's what you attract. So if you out there talking about you a gangster, you a gangster, there's going to be some gangster bitches that fuck with you. And they want to see some gangster shit. Facts, yo. If you supposed to be like, if you on your pretty boy shit, they want to see some pretty boy shit. Like, show them the pretty boy shit. If you, like, if you snitching, but you snitch, like, you the snitch around him. You top snitch. You like to call, like, you the head snitch, fam. You a snitcher, like. So it's going to be other snitch bitches that been snitching on, you know what I'm saying? It's bitches out there that's been snitches, too. It ain't just niggas that's been snitching. It's been bitches that's been snitching for a long time. And they look good, too. So it's snitch bitches getting with snitch niggas. But you gotta you gotta buy that, you gotta pay, you gotta break bread, buddy, or they gonna snitch on you. Morris Day. Morris Day out there in these streets, ladies. Morris Day is out there in these streets. Wow! Do the burn! That's Prince homeboy. He's still cracking. He was like the gangster version of Prince's crew. If it could be one. Like, he was like the more, like, like, he, he was cold. He was a player the whole time. Morris Day always been fly now. Morris Day always been fly. If y'all know, y'all do your homework on Morris Day. <sighs> Morris Day got a chick right now. He out there in these streets, ladies. And he out there, he got a young, fine tenderoni out there. I don't know. He an old ass dude. He might, like, she might be 40. And he likes, but he like in his 60s. You feel me? But he out there, ladies. Got him a bad one. He also got a cold, bad lace front. And when I say bad, I mean bad and good. He got the coldest lace front you can have. Look at this. This is lace front heaven right here. This is, this lace, this lace front Larry right here. This is, this is cold right here. Look at, look at. I don't even know how you get one of these. Basically, to have a lace front like this, you got to basically have some hair and then take it to a stylist and then be like, style my shit. I want it like this. Like, you got to talk to her like it's on your head. I want to, like, like cut it to the side. And then they, they got each strand laced to the front. Laced each side, each strand. Make sure it's just crisp. Bat, 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 bat. He just told it to us, probably on a mannequin head, and he just explained the whole thing. I wanted to go to the side. And I wanted to, I wanted to go to the side, but I wanted to lay back. I wanted to look wet, wet, but I wanted to be dry, like damn. I wanted this motherfucker to motherf fly when you see it. It look like it's gonna take off, <laughs> fly, like a, I want this hair to look like it's fresh off a, a, a hen, a Cornish hen. That's that hair that they made. They bar, the, the, the hairstylist did that. They ain't a barber. Barbers can't fuck with that. That's a hairstylist fucking with that mannequin. You go over to your bitch house or something like that. And you're like, what the fuck you doing? And she got a whole ass head right there. And she just, bitch, what you doing? Uh, we got to go in the room real quick. I got to do Morris Day's hair. I'm almost done. You sit down. Sit the fuck down. You watch Power. And then when she done, she gonna blow dry that motherfucker. Hit it with all kinds of sprays and gloss. And it is gonna be ready. It's just gonna be ready on the head. Shining. And when he get there in the morning, he gonna be like, is my hair ready? Is my hair ready? And she gonna be like, here it is. And he just slide that motherfucker on. Put a suit on. You see it? King shit right there. That's some king shit right there. I ain't gonna lie, that's some king, that's some Napoleon right there. That's some lace front that come with a cognac right there. That come with the Crown Royal bag. That's a cold lace front right there. That's I ain't gonna lie. When I get old, I wanna have like, that's the first lace front that I've seen. When I get old, my dress fall off and I fall out the game. But lace me up. Lace me the fuck up. I'ma have lace front, lace dreadlocks. Fuck it. If he can have this and keep going, I want y'all to keep, I want, by then they should have some shit to where it's ready for dreadlock. And y'all can have lace front dreadlock. I'm going to be looking like, 
That nigga from Eminem movie, nigga, I'm from Eight Mile, nigga, I'm gonna have some cold, some cold little pieces just glued on my shit, but they gonna be lace. Baby hair gonna be laid down and everything. When I'm 70 years old, ladies, facts, facts. Prince, Michael Jackson, Morris Day, and your boy Brent Taylor. Y'all gonna see the coldest lace front y'all ever seen. Watch, watch. <sighs> nah, you cold for that, Morris Day. I can't even say shit. That was cold right there. Yo, it's your boy Brent Taylor.